In this short video, I'm going to walk you through the different parts of the sphenoid bone. And so what I have here is a view from the anterior um, side where you can see the different parts of the sphenoid bone that show, mostly in the orbital region. And as I rotate, we're going to see how the sphenoid bone forms part of what we would know as the temple area. And um, if I tip up from underneath, we can see how the sphenoid bone stretches across, sort of underneath this, the brain area. And then as I tip forward, this is kind of where I want to stay. We're looking at the sphenoid bone from a superior view with the top portion of the calvarium of the skull removed. So um, you can see the sphenoid has this sort of butterfly-like shape associated with it, and that's very characteristic. So the sphenoid has a bunch of different parts, but the ones that I want to mention to you, this main area of the sphenoid bone right, oh, let me get my tool going, um, right here, sort of the centralized region, that's known as the body of the sphenoid. And within the body of the sphenoid, um, is a really important little indentation. And so I'm rotating so you can see the indentation that I'm referencing. And I'm going to point to that. This is the indentation that I'm referencing. The pituitary gland sits in that area. And so that, let me turn back to my original position, that little indentation right here is known as the cella tersica. And that's a part of the body of the sphenoid, the cella tersica, which actually means Turkish saddle. So it really does look like a saddle if you look at, a, at an actual picture of a skull or an actual skull. Um, so that is called the cella tersica, and it's really part of the body of the sphenoid bone. Um, another part of the sphenoid bone, and we see that it looks like this bat or this butterfly are the, the two wings. So we have a portion called the lesser wing on either side. Those are the lesser wings and you may guess the greater wings are from here about here to here. So the middle portion is the body with the cella tersica in it, the saddle. And then we have two lesser wings, one on the right and left, and two greater wings. So I want to twist this so you can see the difference in size between those lesser and greater wings. And they are really quite a bit different in size. Lesser would be here. And greater underneath with a G. Um, let me check your list here. Oh, there's only one other part that I need to show you, and I'm going to have to tip in order to do that. There are two parts of the sphenoid that are um, projecting inferiorly, and so I'm going to um, see if I can get rid of this mandible. I want to dissect it. There we go. I'm going to leave all that other stuff there, but let me highlight my sphenoid again. Look at those projections that are running downward. They're like sticking downwards, like right behind the, the oral cavity, kind of oropharynx area. Um, and as I turn and twist, you can see those projections. We're looking from a more of a posterior view. Those are the pterygoid processes. We've got a medial and a lateral pterygoid process. So both of these, one medial here and here, lateral obviously more lateral. Those are the pterygoid processes. And later on in the year we'll learn that those are for muscle attachment. So this, nope, I want my tools, this part right here, those are the pterygoid processes and as I rotate you can see that they're pretty, pretty amazing. Um, so one last thing I wanted to do is see if I can Select, how did I do that? <laughs> Here we go, I was able to deselect all the other bones and right now we're looking at the sphenoid from an anterior view. So, this would be the pterygoid processes 
those two portions hanging downward, projecting inferiorly. Um, you can see the difference between the lesser wing here and the greater wing here. Um, and as I tip that anteriorly to, to make more of a superior view, let me put in our directions. This would be the front of the body back, back, stop that. There we go. Um, here's the lesser wing, and here's the greater wing. And then this is the cella turcica. Okay, so there's your basic sphenoid anatomy.